So today we are going to do an not so unboxing video of the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star Conspiracy Collection. Um, I got these back on Wednesday I do believe. However, I was at work at that time and I had immediately unboxed everything while I was at work. So I was super excited and I did not wait, want to wait till I got home. So, I, me and my sister got each other our conspiracy palettes and the collection, which was $210 um, back on the first and we finally got it and I'm super excited. In fact, this is what I'm wearing today. <laughs> so let's get started. So the first thing I have is the conspiracy palette itself, the big boy. And this is what it looks like with the clasps, the back of the box. I really like the design of this and I've watched every part of the series and I'm super excited and I really hope to God like at some point next year or maybe give it a little while but them come out with a another palette or collection together. So this is all the colors. Sorry there's already from today. <laughs> um, so I used Ranch. I used What's the Tea? I used Diet Cola, I used Not A Fact, and Luminati all today, and I'm wearing Shane also on my lips. Um, I'm not going to swatch every single color, um, like most review videos do, um, but I do have a lot of favorites in this one. I'm not normally a pink type person, but I've kind of been trying to utilize stuff like that in my makeup looks so I'm really excited to at some point try Trisha because the color I swatched my dad said he got for his girlfriend I swatched it one day and it is such a pretty color it's such a pretty color um I kind of really want to use the pink from the Jawbreaker palette and this one together at some point. I will eventually, but not at the moment. Um, my, fa my two most favorite ones in here are Diet Cola and Ranch. I really like both of those two. I don't have any eyeshadow palettes that have a really nice silver. And I'm really glad that they put Diacola in here with silver. Now, a lot of you guys are kind of out there with not all the colors are for me or it's an everybody palette. I mean, it is an everybody palette. I mean, you can just use the top row by itself. I mean, if you're going to go out and party or go to a club or... A rave you can definitely use this middle row here especially with Trish and food videos definitely and I used to have a manic panic electric neon yellow eyeshadow and since then I have not had an eyeshadow like that until food videos so I'm really excited really excited to try that one out and um, there's a golf club I go to here in St. Louis that has glow parties I think they have them like three times a year maybe um, but that'll be pretty fun to wear with that <laughs> and some of my other neon shades that I still have left um, overall using this palette today there was just a smidge of fallout but not a lot like my other eyeshadow palettes um, a lot of Jeffree Star's formulas, you see just a little bit of fallout. Um, this one I didn't really have very much fallout of, so I'm super glad about that. Um, they were very easy to blend together, um, and the colors just go amazing 
together. I mean, perfectly amazing. I love it. Um, the second palette is the Mini Controversy palette. Now this I did not dip into today, but I I did swatch it. But these are some of the colors. My favorite two in this one is the Simulation and Controversy, which are these two, these two here. This purple and this very freaking awesome blue. Honestly, I kind of wish I had a nail polish that color. And when I say I wish I had a nail polish that color, it means I really freaking love it. And I cannot wait to try it out. Actually, I really want to try this one out with Trisha. I think the those two would be a perfect color combination. Um, I know that the like both of these palettes together, it's it's Shane. It's what Shane is, and I'm super excited that he got to collaborate with Jeffrey Star. So glad. I I've been waiting for this for a while for a long time. Um, the next things are the lipsticks. Lipsticks I will swatch. The lipsticks I will swatch. Um, I don't have enough room everywhere because I've got tattoos. <laughs> so I will do my best to swatch it on my hand even if it has to be on this hand. I will swatch it. Um... Normally, I don't go for metallic lipsticks. I go for something that's black or dark color, like a burgundy red or a dark purple, something plum, black, dark, dark blue. Um, but I've been also trying to utilize all the shades that I've gotten in Jeffree Star's mini lipstick collections that he will that he comes out with um i've been trying to utilize some of those because i'm trying to let a little color into my life because i am goth and as you can tell i've got this colored background here um so i'm just trying to utilize some of the nudes some of the pinks some of the metallics um i've used some of the red colors like the Anna Nicole and Wifey and Red Rum um, trying to utilize those for like when I do a few pinup looks here and there um, other than that I stick to black so I'm trying to slowly gradually let color in because I've always just been I wear black but there's just the pop color or I wear all black with no color at all. Um, the most color I've let in is red. So I'm trying to utilize those and I'm doing my best. Some of them I'm like, and it doesn't look good on me because I'm pale and pasty. I don't tan, never will. Um, but anyways, getting on with these. Um, as for the metallic shade here, I really love it. And do you know what? To me, Shane, this lipstick it smells like root beer <laughs> so i because some of the lipsticks they do have a scent to them um some of the velour lipsticks have a scent to them um but this one smells like root beer i even had my coworkers smell it because i had it with me at work today so i actually had my coworkers sniff it and uh, one said it smelled like root beer also. The other one said that it smelled like hot cocoa. Like the old timey like hot chocolate candies is what she said. But I mean either way it smells sweet and it smells delicious and I just wish I it was edible. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to swatch this one because I already swatched it. Um, but I love it a lot. Um, this, like I said it's my first time wearing a metallic color. And I like it as long as I can put it to a look like with this one I will wear it but um, 
it's really hard for me to do that with metallics. Now, I eyeshadow metallics, it's easy. Lipstick, on the other hand, I feel like it'll be too shiny on me. Like, you need sunglasses, kind of shiny. And I'm kind of slowly easing into that whole thing. Um, the first one I'm going to swatch is Are You Filming? And I did swatch these while I was at work too because I had a client and she wanted to see what all I got. So I swatched it for her. Um, and I have to say, out of all of the reds that I have and lipsticks, this has to be one of my favorite reds, uh, at, like literally. Like this would be perfect for pinup looks. I'm I'm like dead serious. It would be perfect for pinup looks, and I probably will. And I'll probably refer that lipstick to. Um, there's a group here where I live that they're called the Decade Dames, and they are a group of women that do pinup competitions. They have to wear your 1950s undergarments they have to have everything to a t um how they dress their makeup their hair everything um and i think some of the ladies would really love that color um i mean i really love it i mean it is the most brightest red i have but it's the most gorgeous red i have um the next one is Jeffrey. What the fuck? And I really like this one. I don't like pink that much. But I will find a way to utilize this. I will find a way. Whether it's my eyeballs or my lips. I will find a way to utilize this. Because this is like a papow. Papow pink is what I call it but there's the two side by side and honestly I kind of wish I had a nail polish like this not for but not for me for my boyfriend's little girls they would I mean when I show them this because I swatched them for them and when they saw this one they did, they wanted me to put it on them to be honest um they loved it a lot a lot so for anybody who has little girls that like to dress up as a princess or whatever that color would be perfect for them um the next one is oh my god this is probably the most bubblegummy pink I have ever seen. I like it though. I like it because when I do some of my pastel looks, this will go perfect with it. And I feel like um, Jeffrey's Breakfast at Tiffany's and this one, oh my god, will ombre perfect. Like, I think it would be the most perfect look ever. The breakfast at Tiffany's and oh my god. I think that they would be perfect together. The next one is Rylan. Um, again, this one is also a pink, but it's a metallic pink. kind of running out of room here now I've never used a metallic pink there's the there's Ryland right there uh, I don't know if you guys can see that there we go but it is a metallic pink um, like I said this is my first time using a metallic lipstick itself but that one I would probably do for a look like maybe going on a date, casual date maybe, maybe a nightclub for that one. 
Um, and the last one is I Gotta Go. Now this one I'll swatch on this hand here because I'm kind of running out of room on this one. So, um, this one is a bronzy metallic color and wait <laughs> here here there we go <laughs> um yeah but it's a bronzy metallic color um this one i would also wear to a nightclub or a casual date um Maybe if I wanted to, like, add, like, a pop of color. Um, but I, I really like all the lipsticks. Like I said, I'm not a wear pink type person or wear metallic -y type person. But if I can find the right look to go with it, I will wear it. Uh, and I'm going to do my best to utilize these, especially the pinks and the metallics. Because... I've been just wearing black lipstick for so long it's like to me it looks weird on me but the more that I sit here on my days off of work and just play with them the more I'm starting to be like you know what that looks good on me like I wasn't for sure how this was gonna look on me to be honest because I'm so pale and pasty but um tried it on today I'm like this is good. I even went out to my boyfriend in the kitchen and he's all like, I like it. Looks good on you. So, so I will play it around with him on my days off when I'm not too tired from work. Um, the next thing that I got in the collection is, um, Diet Shane, which is the chapstick. And I have used this several times already. And let's just say my lips feel good afterward. Um, and the smell is amazing. Although, actually, it did smell like cake. It did smell like cake whenever I first got it. But now it's actually starting to smell like diet root beer. <laughs> so, but it's just like a... Um, I wouldn't say cream, but almost like your, um, yeah, buttercream, like a buttercream frosting color, um, is what this, what the color of the chapstick looks like. But I love it. I have stopped using my other chapsticks, um, because I like this one. I do. I like it. Um. My coworkers like it too. Um, they've they've all used it once and everything. So, but they all like it too. Um, I hope that he comes out with more. <laughs> It'd be amazing for him to come out with more. Um, the other thing is is that I'm excited to see what Jeffrey comes out with with for chapstick because in the series he talked about that he's got a whole new or all new products for 2020 <clears throat> sorry um all new products for 2020 and some of them include chapstick which has never been in the Jeffree Star line of his cosmetics. It's been lip gloss, lipstick, highlighters, eyeshadows, and he brought out concealer and a setting powder also. Um, I hope that one day he comes out with a foundation too. Because that would be amazing. Um, but the last, well, second to last thing <laughs> I got. I'm slightly tired guys I was at work today and I didn't get enough sleep anyways so bear with me I might be jumping all over the place um so the other thing that I got is Shane Glossin which is the gloss which I've used already also 
My sister has used hers. In fact, she wore the chapstick in the lip gloss today. Um, this one, on the other hand, does smell like root beer. Now, I love root beer, especially Barks root beer. Um, A&W, I like the root beer a little bit, but I really like A&W cream soda. So, I mean, I'm also a root beer lover too. Um, so, I'm glad that got these because the smell of this reminds me the, of the um, root beer barrel candies that you would get at A&W root beer restaurant is what this what the gloss smell reminds me of so i'm glad for that um the last thing that i got and i've already used this i had to take all my makeup out of it to show you guys <laughs> is the uh, travel makeup case and it's got his shane's logo on here and it's got the jeffrey and the Shane Dawson logo imprinted on here. Let's see if I can, here, I'll do the bottom of it. There you go, so you guys can see. Now, I had a makeup bag <laughs> that an ex-friend made me, and I was dumb and left a bowl of bleach sitting on top of it, and over time, it overflowed and got on that so i basically cleaned my bathroom a couple of days ago before the day actually the day before i got all my stuff and i ended up throwing it away whenever i got home and i had this because i needed something durable i had to take all my makeup out of there to be able to find all my everyday things that i use primer, eyebrows, eyeshadow, well not eyeshadows, um, eye primers, my moisturizer, everything. I had to dig through that little tiny bag just to find all my stuff. This, I can easily just move a few items around and immediately grab what I want or see, and I can easily see everything because it's a de it's a decent size. And honestly, I've never had to make a bag like this with, with a decent size with all this room in it. And I'm glad that it has like a little case here too, or not case, but a little zipper thing here too. This zipper pouch. There we go. Found the right word. Um, but I will definitely use this in my travels whenever I do travel. Um, so I'm excited that I have a new makeup bag because I've been needing one for years. <laughs> I've been needing one for years and I've neglected to get it. Um, so anyways, that concludes my review and unboxing but not unboxing video. Um, I will hear soon. I bought yesterday on Jeffrey's Black Friday sale on Thanksgiving. Um, I bought all three of his mystery boxes, all three of the Black Friday mystery boxes. I'm super excited to do, to freaking open it up because I, he's already showed us one thing that is in it and that's the peppermint frost that he said that smells like peppermint. And if you have been following his Instagram stories, it is very limited edition and it is only exclusive to the holiday mystery boxes and it will never be made again. It's only, it's only specifically for the mystery boxes, but I'm hoping to catch a little more drift of what is in it. I don't know if that's going to be just that one exclusive item and which box it comes in or if each tier, the smallest to the biggest box, if each of them have a specific um, exclusive item or if it's just that one. I don't know yet because this is my first time buying all three. <laughs> um, 
so because I've always been broke during his mystery box sales so um, I'm super happy that I was actually able to afford three of them actually I didn't buy three of them I bought five <laughs> I bought two of the minis one for me one for my dad's girlfriend and then I bought since my sister bought me a deluxe box for Halloween I bought her a deluxe box just because so I'm excited I also bought me finally the onyx frost highlighter <laughs> I've been wanting that for a couple years now and I've always been broke and everything and then he got after pay and then I neglected to buy it <laughs> because I've seen something else that I've been wanting so I'm finally getting it I finally bought me a freaking tracksuit too so I'm excited um, I will um, and that was all in three separate orders too <laughs> so um, he just tweeted out today that him and his crew have been shipping out all shipping out all day today so eventually I'll be getting some email confirmation saying that your stuff has shipped and with the tracking information so I'll be on the lookout for that be on the lookout for more unboxing videos these ones I will actually unbox <laughs> so instead of the unboxing but not unboxing video that I just did so yeah I will have a bunch more stuff to show and I'm super excited to get these like super excited because man I about had a ha I about had a heart attack yesterday here I am I'm cleaning my house and everything started with my bedroom I'm letting my phone charge while I'm cleaning and my sister's all like check five minutes before the actual time because sometimes it goes up so I checked I refreshed and there's everything at freaking 1 55 p.m. my time and I get it I go I scroll I see them I immediately do all of them and I scroll see what else I want that that was it for that order was just the mystery boxes and then I was on the screen where it has him and Shane and it had the little spinny loading circle thingy and it I was basically in queue for a half hour and then I turn and look at my phone and I see that it's changing pages well then it says that there was something wrong with the checkout please try again and it redirected me <laughs> Because as soon as I read that and I saw it, I'm like, <gasps> like literally, I, my God, my heart freaking jumped out of my body. <laughs> my heart jumped out of my body. I'm like, no. So it redirected me to the check. And I'm like, oh, thank God. So then I ended up purchasing it and all that. Did, did all the schmancy fancy checkout stuff. And I man I was jumping up in my and I was jumping I was jumping I'm like I got it I got it I got it and everything and I immediately called my sister which I probably almost got her in trouble because she was at work and answering her phone on the floor so yeah sorry about that um but no I mean I'm excited I'm excited because I've I was waiting for the for, couple of days that he had posted about it and all that I'm I was super excited I'm like I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get all three I even told all my co-workers my all my co-workers know how big of a Jeffrey and Shane fan I am and they hear I talk their ear off about it all day every day I'm pretty sure they're getting tired of it already but they're gonna continue to hear it so I'm excited I'm excited to do some more unboxing videos. I really hope to do more in the future. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, but this concludes this video for now. Because <laughs> right now I'm just rambling on. 
my back is starting to hurt I'm feeling old over here so I'm gonna get off of this phone and relax maybe maybe just go to sleep I don't know yet but keep watching my YouTube channel and keep a lookout for those other unboxing videos. Bye!